What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sales Remastered. I just want to share with you two things. Number one is it's, is it's uh, daylight right now. It's in the morning. That's right. That is correct. It means that my morning vlogs after the gym are back in effect. Not only are they back in effect, but it's going to be a well-lit room. And before, it was like you're talking to the unlock game character, you know, that's on that video game that you need to beat like 900 people just to unlock. I was that dude for a minute, but time changed <clears throat> Sunday. And so we went back an hour. And so technically, it's like 7.30 right now. Um, whereas usually, I'd be driving home and it'd be 6.30 and it's too dark, right? So I'm very excited for that. And then second, another announcement is the topic of this video. Let me put that right back in there. Make sure I look good. And uh, the topic on this video I think is gonna be very helpful. Um, not only helpful to, to you and your climb, um, but just helpful to myself. Because a lot, a lot of the reasons why I do these vlogs or I do these, I do these sessions is, it's kinda like working out, right? Working out is, is, is tough, you know? Especially you don't wanna look like a fool at the gym. You know, you don't wanna wake up. You know, you don't want to go for a full hour. There's a lot of reasons as to what pushes you away, but you know that it's good for you. Well, I know that this is good for me because I, you know, in reading and in, in, in my self-development, I understand that public speaking, um, learning how to read people, knowing how to sell are three fundamental ingredients in, in actually determining your own success. Meaning whether you are an employee or you are self-employed, those are typically three ingredients that you should be able to master, you should be able to become very comfortable with. And I could speak very freely over the phone, but it's a matter of public speaking that, that I really need to work on. And so this is something that has enabled me to, to step out of my comfort zone, um, from speaking in front of the camera to creating a vlog, to letting you in on my, on my history, letting you know about my background. And, um, you know, and, and I hope that, that the content delivers value. I hope that you're able to relate to some of the content and find a reason, if not a purpose, as to why you can make it. I hope that you look at me and be like, this motherfucker made it. Shit, I'm gonna make it too. Um, if not, I'm gonna do it better, you know? And, and I want you to. I want you to be able to, to not only meet me at the top, but also show me that you can do it better so I can look at your shit and be like, damn, bro, good shit. And we can um, kind of lean on each other like that and, and leverage each other like that. So leave some comments below. Let me know how, how you're killing it right now. Let me know how you're leading the floor right now. Let me know how you want to lead the floor right now. Let me know how some of the content on here has enabled you to get one step closer to leading the floor right now. So the topic at hand, and I think it's applicable just based on, on actually what I went over right now. But the topic is change. You know, I, I think that not only with time change, not only with, uh, you know, with getting into the, you know, the Mondays, right? Like you go from a change, you go from two days off and then you hop back in the work and it's Monday. And, and, uh, especially if you happen to work for the weekend, there's a change in environment because you no longer had to, you know, have that two day rest period or that two day recoup period. And we all have lives, right? We all have our errands. We all have our responsibilities. And it's important that you have a support system. I am very confident I would not be able to do as much as I can do right now if it were not for my lovely wife. My wife is a, a domestic engineer, AKA homemaker. And uh, you know she stays home with our kids and she works harder than me, truth, truth be told. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, can, I can relate with her in terms of constant movement, you know, because in some degree, I'm also in constant movement. And even though I'm always out on my desk, I'm in the computer, it's constant movement psychologically. It's constant, you know, ups and downs, fires to put out. And so we both live very similar lives. And the reason why I bring that up is because, you know, I, I want to give credit to where credit is due, just like you should give credit to where credit is due. So if you have a support system right now that helps you be better than you were the day before, fucking thank them. If you have a support system right now that has enabled you to improve your own life quality, get inside a more positive mind state and give you reason to be better and better and better and better. And I think you need to give credit to that person because without that person, what, what, what else would be pushing you, right? And so that's what I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about the change. You know what? Why are some people, um, it seems like change does not affect them, whereas others, it's, it's very hard. It's a mental, battle you know and it happens to the best of us it happens to me you know it happened to me you know yesterday Monday you know you go in and I had to work on Sunday in case you didn't see that vlog I, I, I do a vlog per day 
and I did one in the morning about, you know, um, I did one on my way to get my team some breakfast. And what I did was I shared, um, you know, the positive, like just, it was a, a topic on, on, on law of attracting, right? Like the, how you can attract more of the results you want. And I, and I shared some of the tips in there and, and ultimately we had a great day that day because I believe I attracted the right energy. I attracted the right enthusiasm. I attracted the right mindset. And for that, we had a very successful Sunday. Successful, more successful than the Sundays before. And, and as I mentioned to you in my other content, there are gonna be people that just hate. You know what I mean? People that just hate, they, they literally hate on your success. They hate that you are winning. They hate that you have a better team and they hate that they're not on top like you are. And that's okay, you know, it's, it's always been that way. I, know, I don't let it affect me unless it gets out of line. And if it gets out of line, I'm gonna bite back. But where I'm getting at is, is there was an email that you know, went out to my team and uh, you know, I was pumping them up and I said, MFing. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put that together again. I said, let's light the MFN, like as in motherfucker, MFN board up, meaning the scoreboard, right? Let's light the board up. And this is this is to, you know, about 20 agents. And this is just to excite you, you know? It's fucking 6 a.m. on a Sunday morning, and I'm very thankful that any sales agent is there right now. And if I can do anything to create the right enthusiasm and mindset so that you win, I've done my job. I'm doing my job. And so I did, and that's what I did. And, and you know, coming in on you know, Monday just to begin with, and it already um, coming back from, you know, a nine hour shift on the Sunday, which was the day before, you know, there's just one day to recoup, right? And so you can imagine the things that are weighing you down. Like, oh, I only got, I only had so much time to kind of detach from the grind. I only had so much recoup period, you know? or I only had this much time with my family, or damn, I miss my family, or damn, I wish I could be with my kids, or damn, I wish I could, you know, there's all these things that you wish. And that really creeps up on Monday mornings, don't it? Like, fuck. <laughs> like, I really wish I would've slept in. I really wish I could just be at home right now. I really wish I could just do this, do that, do this. And, and it's because it's the change. It's the, ch it's, the, it's the change we're going through that wants us to change back. And so we're just in this constant battle of change. But my story to you, and the reason why I even brought that MF in up, uh, coming up, is because right when I got in in the morning, I was pumped up again. You know, I'm always, I'm always energetic, as you can see in all my vlogs. And the first thing I, that I got was a message from my own manager, saying, um, you know, like, hey man, I can't have any managers talking like this. Um, you know, what do I need to do? Have you know, send you over to HR? Do you need to be written up? You know, and it's coming at me like that, right? Like, bro, number one, fucking you're welcome. Number two is I helped you, bro, have an awesome fucking strong week. This is your division. I helped your teams improve their, their mentality, improve their work ethic, get fucking motivated and put as many, um, you know, loans up as we did yesterday, as the day before, which was Sunday. You know, but I, you know what? I, I didn't even care about that. I just kept it moving because what happens when you argue with stupid is you look stupid. And you have to understand that every POV is a little bit different from your own. So even though my POV, my point of view coming in that day or yesterday morning was pumped up, right? Like, hey, I gotta find, I gotta find momentum. I gotta create momentum and I gotta keep that motherfucker going. And that's the, just the game. That's just the battle. That's how you get the ball rolling. Because you have challenges. You have challenges of the time change. You have challenge of it being Monday. You have challenge of only working, uh, I'm sorry, only off one day for the week. You have the challenge of, you know, all these things that just are, are challenges. And it's going to resist the change. It just doesn't like it. And so, and so your body is, 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 is hearing this communication, but your mindset is on a different path. You get it? So your mindset is like, go, 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 go. But your body's like, Ugh, uh, your body's like the, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like the lazy one and shit. And so it's this constant battle. It's because of the change. It's the reason why, you know, when you plop down on the couch and shit, or when you plop down on the seat and you realize that you left your fucking cell phone upstairs or you left your cell phone in the other room, you're like, ah, it's that change, right? Like your body's like, no, <laughs> uh, you know, anyway, I'm sure you understand. So um, why I brought that up is because, you know, the change in mindset that it could have made in me could have ruined my day. It, the change in, in, in the energy from receiving that message instead of saying, hey, man, you had an awesome job Sunday. Hey, thanks for 
pushing the team. Hey, thanks for not using motherfucker and using MF. Thank you for that. You know, hey, thank you for the highest production. Hey, thank you for the strongest Sunday we've had in a couple months, right? There could have been so many different ways. There could have been a change in my my manager's mindset, right? But I, and And because he chose not to change his view and instead he chose to change the message from a positive message to what the fuck are you doing? Do I need to write you up? Do I need to threaten your job for using MF? He decided to go with that change. So I could have changed my response and instead of brush it off and let it go, I could have changed my response and be like, bro, what the fuck? This is all you fucking saw of that? That's the only message you got? You didn't get the motherfucking production numbers. You didn't get the motherfucking fact that people were working and slaving for 10 hours on a Sunday so that we can produce. Is that all you fucking see is the MF. Bro, that's a long ass email. We're going back and forth and I'm pumping these fuckers up. I'm digging deep to make sure that they keep digging deep and make sure that they go out of here with a good morale, good boost, good sense of of accomplishment because that's what motherfucking bosses do. Bosses aren't always fucking threatening your job. They don't always belittle you. They don't always make you think that you did wrong. They, you know, they build you up, right? And I believe that that's what a leadership is. And so, you know, immediately after this engagement, what helped me, just like this vlog does, is, is I released and I vented through a post, or a very professional post, by the way. And And in my opinion, after after thought of it after after thinking about it right and because it sat on you know i mean like it doesn't come off like it doesn't look like it's bothering me but there's shit that i just i just have to kind of um decompress and so i'm ahead and then i'll handle that at a later time uh because that and it was the beginning of the day there's just so much other shit to, to focus on which is another skill, by the way. You definitely need to know where to allocate your time. You know, um, there are going to be red flags or, or fires thrown at you all the time, and you really need to be able to kind of um, separate and categorize them. Meaning that, hey, this is like a, a, a you know a stage one red flag. This is a stage two red flag. Stage three red flag. Stage one, of course, can be handled by EOB or end of business day. Stage two red flag can be handled after stage three <laughs> red flags are handled. Stage three is fucking right now like you should have been on the phone already and those are just immediate immediate um uh, fires you need to put out and so the question is well they will well, you know what's the best way of putting those fires out and the actual best way is not what you think it is and 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 instinctively what we'll do is we'll kind of get warmed up on the fires that we put out right because it's the change like we want to change for the better and, and be able to put fires out better so we want to get warmed up so our our mindset changes and gets and becomes warm and so we're always looking for that change, right? And so the best part, the best way to go about it is handle all your stage three fires, but handle the absolute worst nightmare, meaning the one you don't want to handle, handle that one first. That is really going to fucking, is really going to help improve your day because you're going to know that you handled the biggest red flag, the, the, the most challenging task of the day. And when it's handled, whether you accomplish it or whether you don't, at least you are in the right mindset. You are primed in the right mindset. And you might be going into it thinking like, oh, I don't want to fuck up my day. I don't want bad news right now. You know, I, I need good energy. That's all, that's you. That's your figment of, that's a figment of your imagination. It, meaning that, it, meaning that when you, you know, when you go through that task and when you complete it, whether you fail or you win or not, you still fucking win. You you either earn or you learn, right? And so you you either earn the accomplishment, meaning that you do it successful, or you learn how not to do it. And both are very helpful. Both are going to impact you positively. Both are going to give you the right momentum. And so, you know, that, that's why I want to give you the topic of this change. That's why I want to talk about change. Change is something that we all go through. Change is like the environment. Change is like the time. Change is like the, you know, the time of the week. And change in our own mindset. And I hope that you find change today, not just in your pocket, not just, you know, change um, like uh, a change of habit, but change of view, change of, of your POV. A change in seeing the the perspective of those that we react to and so I could have reacted to the time change like most of society we could have reacted to the comments we receive from our executives or people that we report to and we could have 
we could have reacted a certain way, but because our mindset changed or because our change of perception, now we understand that the person we're getting that derogatory message from or we're getting hassled from, whether it's our boss, whether it's our spouse, whether it's our kids, whether it's our neighbor, whether it's a stranger, or whether it's a, a prospect. When we receive that communication from them, we have a choice to change our point of view. We have a choice to change our tone. We also have a choice to change our attitude. And so when the prospect comes at you and gives you some sort of demeaning effect like, hey, you shitty salesman, you give me your lowest price product and I want it for free. I don't want to give you shit. I don't even want to give you my fucking name. Then you have a choice to change the direction and change the, the momentum of that conversation, right? And so you can you can come back and say, hey, what? Click and then hang up and go get another. And then what will happen is it'll 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 eat in your head because you you you, you know it's just natural. It's just like ah, oh, this motherfucker. And then you start venting, right? You start telling people like, can you believe this guy? Or or you hang up the phone and and you you may not think it bothers you, but deep down inside you're like, man, that motherfucker. You know, it, it adds, it adds up into your emotion bank, right? Into your negativity bank and that negative momentum starts to build. And so when we change that, that thing that we constantly battle with, when we change our perception, when we change our tonality, when we change our attitude, change our view, change up our, our rhythm, and we actually do something that's different than our comfort zone, meaning that we're challenging ourselves. That is what changes, is challenging ourselves. And so the, the question is, will you change today? Will you change the way you go about things? Will you change your perception on how things are actually formed? Will you go about, like right now I'm in real estate and the market rate is up. Will you change the way you work because the rates are up? Or will you change your attitude because you understand that fucking regardless of the rates are up, people still move, people still need money, people still need cash, people still need solutions, right? So whether the market is up or it's down, who gives a fuck? It is all about how you view it. And unless you change the way you view it, you're never gonna change the result. So if you're looking for positive results, I know exactly how to help you. Follow Sales Remastered on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, you know, wherever you find me. If you haven't found the sales script, if you, if you like a good read, you want something motivational, go to the YouTube playlist uh, on the channel and you're gonna see everything um, uh, organized for you. And, and it's a change of, you know, um, content. It's a, it's, it's for mindset. It's for negotiation. There's a lot of content there. Go check it out, and you'll see for yourself. Um, and then also, uh, salesremaster.com. If you go to a website at the very bottom of that very of that homepage, you're gonna see all the links that it's the, that you could find Sales Remaster. So if you want to check it out, go to your browser, the browser that you typically use, um, unless you're on your smartphone. Um, but when you get a chance, go on to a browser, go to the website, let me know your thoughts. And as I develop it and as I work with my designer to create it, give me your input. Let me know what you think. All right. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.